What's the key, do you think, to David having such a productive game last week? Uh, I think the coverage just kind of dictated the ball goes to him. Um, got a lot of opportunities, and when he gets opportunities, he's he's made plays. It's been good. Is that the type of game that you sort of envision for Njoku? Absolutely. I mean, he's got – everyone knows he's got all the talent in the world, and so um, – the past production hasn't always matched that, which everyone understands, but he's been playing at a high level um, all year for what we've asked him to do and the opportunities he's gotten. How impressive is it for a guy like that to just sort of be patient and sort of embrace his role blocking in the run game and, and just sort of be patient for a game like that to come along? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. All those guys want the ball. Everybody wants the ball, but he's done a great job. He improved tremendously over just the course of time I've been here from 2020 in his uh, playing without the ball. Uh, we talk about that all the time, playing without the ball. And um, I know it's hard because everyone wants the ball, but he's done a great job improving and just being a complete tight end. How have you kind of seen that change in him, that embracing the, the different roles and the different responsibilities? Um, I think, one, he just he came into the league when he was so young. Um, I think just getting older, getting more mature, um, just understanding how this game's played and the, what the position calls for. Um, he just understands that, and it's been good. It's been really good. Uh, no complaints from Dave. Where he is now, do you feel like it's still the tip of the iceberg, especially like being a big target in the end, you know, end zone? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think um, that kind of production is what we want from him. I know that's what he wants, and so hopefully uh, we can continue to give him opportunities and put him in good positions, and when we do that, he'll make, he'll make plays for us. I mean, some of the defensive guys about going up against Kyle Pitts and like how you cover a guy like that. Um, from your perspective, like when you go into a game, how do you? Is there a preference? Like if you say, okay, if they're going to cover us with a corner, we can beat it, or you know, a linebacker. Like, do you like to see something specific when you face a defense? Absolutely, you love to see how the defense is going to match um, personnel-wise. Um, what kind of coverages they're going to play? What kind of leverage you can get? Um, and then compare that to the different skill sets, whether that's Dave or Harrison. Obviously, they're, they're both complete guys, but they have different strengths. And so just depending on the week, the game plan, there's so many factors that go into it. You don't always just tailor it specifically to them, but you know going into a game, hey, we're going to have a big opportunity. Dave's going to be on a smaller guy or, or whatever the case may be. How has Harrison gotten better this year? Um, Harrison does everything you ask him to do, and we ask him to do a lot. Um, and he hasn't got a ton of opportunity so far, but everything that he's gotten, he's made the play. Um, I think stuff that doesn't show up is the pass protection game. No one really sees, uh, but he's been tremendous there for us. I know he was, he was bang, shaken up there in the, the Jets game, but earlier in that game, you, you talk about opportunities for him. It seemed like he was, it, that was sort of his opportunity game like David had against Pittsburgh. Absolutely. Absolutely. He got, uh, got rolling, I think, three catches there in the first half. And then it was unfortunate that uh, he got a little shaken up, uh, came back for, I think, the last drive there. But definitely when he's had his ops, he's made the most of them, uh, for sure. Pass protection where he's made the biggest growth? Um, I'd say probably just because he didn't do a lot of that in college. He was running the routes and catching the ball all the time in college. So I think um, just naturally as of just doing it more. Um, but he's got better every, I think he's gotten a lot better um, in some of the routes we've asked him to do um, all through off season, and then hopefully those start to show up here in the games. I know you guys spent some time in practice working with Coach Callahan in the O-line. What, what have you learned kind of working with Coach Callahan in your time here? Oh, man, a ton. I couldn't. I'm not going to list everything, but it's been um, – he's one of the, you know, the greatest O-line coaches to ever do it, um, coaching technique, um, just – Anything, any defense that, that we go up against, he's seen the technique, he's seen the scheme. And so it's a ton of knowledge to fall back on, especially for our guys, myself, um, just applying new techniques to stuff that he, he can pull up the tape from 15 years ago about a guy playing the same way. So that's a great resource for us in the tight end room. You started working with him, were you almost reluctant, like you're approaching a, like a legendary coach kind of thing? Oh, no, he's easy to talk to. He's easy to talk to. Um, He's been really good to me since I got here, uh, even in my other role. And so I uh, had a lot of chats with Coach Callahan. It's been good. Has the success in the run game. I mean, how important has, has he specifically been to not, not just think, your group, but the, the whole line? I think if you just look at the numbers since he got here, you can't argue with it. This league's about production, and 
if you look at the run numbers since Coach Callahan got here and and and, and Kevin, it's hard to argue with. Do you guys consider him like an extra lineman or a third tight end? Uh, both. Both. He spent time like does he spend time with you guys? Oh, absolutely. He's got to come in, learn all the shifts. Uh, he's got to understand all those different things because uh, he's playing the tight end position. So there's a lot of things that come along with that that's different than playing tackle or guard or center. Um, so he's got to be he's double duty there, and he's been really good for us. How impressive that is. It feels like he's played some really meaningful snaps so far. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I think it puts the defense in a tough position on how to match personnel, what we're going to do. We get um, you know him, Dave, and Harrison out there. There's a lot of different options that we can do, and it presents some problems for the defense. Some hidden skills that uh, we'll find out this year. <laughs>